In this video, we are going to learn how you can automatically connect Gmail to Asana and create tasks from emails. So the idea here is that whenever you receive a new mail into your Gmail account, based on specific keywords, first the mails should be sorted and then using the details of the mail, automatically a new task should get created into your Asana account and it should be assigned to a specific team member. For that, we need to create a connection between Gmail and Asana using Pabli Connect. So how you can integrate both these software applications and how you can set up this automation for that, you need to come to my screen. So welcome to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes. And you're going to get free tasks every month. If you're already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the All Apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on Access Now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on Create Workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Connect Gmail to Asana and Create Task from Emails. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever we receive a mail regarding an issue from your customer, then automatically using the details of the mail, a new task should get created into your Asana account. For that first, we need to create a connection between your Gmail account and Pabli Connect. So simply open this trigger window and here choose the application name as email parser. And here we have got a mail hook. So I'll simply copy this mail hook from here and I'll just take you to my Gmail account. So this is my Gmail inbox. Here I want that whenever a new mail is received from the customer regarding the issues, automatically the mail should be captured in Pabli Connect. For that, I have to just click on the settings tab and click on see all settings. Here we have to move to forwarding and POP option. And here we have to click on add a forwarding address. And here we have to paste the mail hook that we have copied from Pabli Connect. Click on next. And now here, forwarding mail to this particular mail hook. Let's click on proceed. Now here we have got a message, a confirmation code has been sent to the mail hook to verify the permission. So let's click on OK. And here we have to paste a confirmation code. So let's move back to Pabli Connect. And when we scroll down, here we have got a response. And in the response, we have got the body text. Let's enlarge this particular body text option. And here we have got a confirmation code. So I'm just going to copy this confirmation code from here. I'll move back to the settings option of my Gmail account. And here I'll be pasting the confirmation code. And now let's click on verify. You have verified the forwarding address. Okay. Now let's enable this particular option that is forward a copy of incoming mails to this particular mail hook. And now we are going to click on save changes. And here we can see that we have forwarded the email address to this particular mail hook. So whenever a new mail will be received automatically using this mail hook, the details of the mail will be captured in Pabli Connect. Okay, now let's click on recapture email parser response. Do you wish to recapture the response? Now let's click on yes. And now here we can see that it is waiting for the response. So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. It means we have to send a mail from our customer to a specific email address where we have forwarded all the mails. Okay, so I'll just log in from my customer email address over here. And I have already uh, drafted a message. Hi, can you please guide me through the process of integrating WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pabli Connect? Thanks and regards, demo. So this is the message or the mail that the customer will be sending to my particular email address. And now let's send this particular mail. Sending message sent. So the mail has been sent. Now let's move back to the Gmail account. We have to just refresh it. Okay, and within some seconds or minutes, the mail will be captured over here. Okay, and here we can see that the mail is received. WhatsApp integration issue. And here we can see that the same mail details is captured over here. Now let's move back to Pabli Connect. Okay, and here we can see the response is received and in the response we have got the subject as WhatsApp integration issue and let's scroll down 
and here we have got some other details that is the body text also that is the message the customer has sent okay and here we have got some other details related to the mail so now we want to create a task in our asana account using these mail details but here the question is you might be receiving various mails on your gmail account so you need to sort the mails that you have received from your customers and the mails that are having some issues for that we have to just click on this action step and here we have to just click on this filter option choose the application name as filter and here we are going to specify some conditions so here we have to select the label so here you have to come to email parser and select the label as if the subject line of the mail okay or the mail subject contains an issue word then this workflow should run or for the or condition let's click on this plus sign to add an or condition or if the mail subject contains unable word then this workflow should run okay or so i'm just going to specify one more or condition or if the mail subject contains problem word then only this particular workflow should run okay so we have specified three conditions over here if the mail subject contains issue word or unable word or the problem word then only this particular workflow should run further okay now let's check the condition by clicking on save and send test request so here we have got the response uh, status success message condition is true so why the condition is true just because in the mail subject we have got whatsapp integration issue so the issue word is there that is why the condition is satisfying over here okay and we have got the condition is true over here now we are going to create a task in our asana account so click on this plus sign add action step and here choose the application name as asana select the action event as create a task click on connect click on add new connection and click on connect with asana authorization successful and now the asana account is connected to public connect just because i was already logged into my asana account so make sure before creating a connection you are logged into your asana account now here we have to select this workspace name so you can see my workspace is automatically captured over here you have to select your workspace name from the drop down okay now here we have to select the project id so my project id is connect so i'm selecting the same over here you have to select your project id now here it is asking for the task name what should be the task name you want to create so i want the task name to be the task or the issue that the customer has sent via mail that is whatsapp integration issue okay so the task name would be whatsapp integration issue okay now here we have to enter the notes notes will be the description what is the issue the customer is facing so here we will be mapping the description of the mail that we have got okay so it will be body text okay that is hi can you please guide me through the process of integrating whatsapp cloud api account with public connect thanks in regards demo so this is the message the customer has sent now here if you want to specify some due date you can just give it over here but remember the date should be in yy mm and dd format and here you can use any of these one options either you can give a due at date or either you can give a due on date okay now here we have to select the assignee to whom you want to specify this particular task so i want this task to be assigned to ashmita mandal okay and now let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the response is received it means a new task is created in our asana account let's check it okay and here we have got a new task created name whatsapp integration issue okay and here we can find the assignee name as ashmita now let's open the task details okay as we have not specified the due date it is blank over here okay and here we can see that the description is added over here and in this way our integration is working fine let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first data saved successfully okay now as this is a one time process and we have set up an automation next time whenever you're going to receive a mail uh, regarding the issues in your gmail account automatically a new task will get created into your asana account so let us check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not for that i'm just logging from some other email address of the customer and here also i have already drafted a mail 
Hello team, I am facing some issues while setting the action. Upload file in Dropbox. Please guide me. Okay, regards dummy customer. And I am just going to send this mail. Mail sent. Now let us check whether the mail is received on my email address or not. Okay, and here we can see that a new mail is received. Unable to upload action file in Dropbox. Now let us check whether using these details of the mail, a new task is created in our Asana account or not. Let's close this task details. Okay, and here we have got a new task created. Unable to upload action file in Dropbox. The task is assigned to Ashmita Mandal. Let's open the details. And here we can see that the mail details are captured over here. Okay, as description. Hello team, I am facing some issues while setting the action upload file in Dropbox. Please guide me regards dummy customer. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect. I'm just going to minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first, we have created an integration between your Gmail account and Public Connect using Email Parser so that whenever you receive a new mail in your Gmail account, automatically all the mail details are captured in Public Connect. Then we have applied a filter over here that this particular workflow should run for the specific emails only. For the specific emails which are containing issue word, enable word or the problem word in the subject line of the mail. And using the details of the mail, automatically we have created a new task in our Asana account and we have assigned the task to a specific team member. And in this way, we have connected Gmail with Asana and we have learned that how we can create tasks from our emails using Pabli Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.